Aidan was playing nearby with his brothers and then I heard this awful noise. This is their closet this way. There was this tremendous thud. Something madly wrong had happened. It was really loud, so I knew it wasn't just a couple of stairs. This was more than a couple of stairs. It's his head, put a nice pack on his head, look. Yeah. Aiden seemed to have avoided serious injury. Although I tell you what, he's gonna have a nasty bruise. I tell everyone, if he could have a helmet on, that would be the best thing. He is always hitting his head, always. After some time with the ice pack, Aiden started to feel better. And even though I don't start teaching on observation day, I did need to give Aiden a little lesson about that staircase. Hold on to the railing. Yeah. Hold on to the railing coming down. I also feel that the staircase needs to be toddler proofed, so I am going to talk to mum and dad seriously about this later. When I first arrived for teaching the next day, my priority was two and a half year old Aiden's safety. Unfortunately, I did have the opportunity to see the little one fall down the flight of stairs, which actually was very frightening, obviously, for us all. <laughs> what we want to talk about is really Aidan learning how to go up and down those stairs properly. I'd like to see you actually telling Aidan to go up each step two feet at a time, OK? Like so. And then holding on to the white banister railings here, Aiden took to walking down the stairs like a duck to water. Good boy. Well done, that's it. Aiden was doing very well, so I moved on to having Dad put safety gates at the top and at the bottom of that staircase. I really did feel more safe with the gates in place. The staircase for me definitely give me a peace of mind, and I'm glad we have them now.